It's always good to make sure that you have your grinding wheel dressed before you grind your lathe tools. This grinder used to have a, a rest like this one on this side and I have made this larger one up. It uh, gives you a lot more room to put your tool down, move it around, keeps things steady and doesn't vibrate as much as this one did. Now in order to dress this I have a diamond dresser right here and I made a block up. The diamond dresser fits in this end and a 3 8 screw fits in the other end to adjust how far it comes out. Uh, I also put a ball bearing in here. I find I get better action with it. It's easier to move it around in there. I have a set screw here to tighten it up when I get it where I want it. And the way I do that is I put it in here and usually with the wheel running we could probably try that see where we are now. We're not touching. So if we move the screw on the end at some point we're going to start to touch that wheel. There we go right there. I'm going to turn the grinder off right there and I'm going to lock the diamond up. Now we'll stop there for a moment because I'm going to get a mask. Always a good idea to wear a mask when you're doing this. Put the grinder back on. We have this bar that is screwed on to the plate here. There's a couple of holes in the plate. And we should be able to move this across and dress the wheel right now. Moved a little slower, we'd probably get a better finish on that, but let's not waste any more time. You get the idea how that works. We're nice and parallel across. And we're ready to sharpen some tools. So I'm going to take this off now. Just unscrews. Put that over here where it belongs. And we can sharpen our tool bit. Uh, I should mention that I have this set at somewhere between two and three degrees relative to the base of the grinder itself. And that will give me a little relief angle underneath here where I'm sharpening. And we'll start the grinder and sharpen the tool. Now that's sharp to a pretty good point here. We're going to take that over to the lathe and we're going to cut something on the lathe so that you can see the difference between having a sharp point and slightly rounding the point, which gives you a better finish on whatever you're cutting. So we'll head on over to the lathe right now. Okay, we're going to just take a, a few thousandths off this. And just pick up the surface here. Now we'll take that tool back over and put a little bit of a radius on it.
probably can't see that, but it has a little radius on there now. Back we go to the lathe. Try to get a close up of this. If we can get it close enough, we'll see it. Okay, the one on the left is the rounded edge tool bit, and the one on the right had more of a point to it. I think you can see that it's a little smoother on the left than the right. Okay. I had uh, put this in my electronic microscope that I had made for my computer out of an old webcam and we will do a, a YouTube project on that at some point. Anyway, there was no radius on the tool that did this side and you can see a lot of tearing went on over here. And the other side could definitely be a lot smoother and would have been had I spent more time putting a smoother and a little bit larger radius on that tool bit. But this is enough of a comparison from one side to the other that you can see what I'm talking about when I say if you leave that sharp point you're going to get some tearing and, and not so great a finish on things. And that's it for now. If you'd like to be notified of other new modifications, please click on the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.